let's take a light twist on a combination. This is going to involve for what we call um, non-distinct items. We're repeating an item a couple probably seen before. And there are four different bases, A, C, G, and T. You can have any number of different combinations of the two or the four bases. And, you know, like I said, we're not here to learn about science, but it's important to know that you can repeat these bases on the ladder. So what we want to know is we want to know how many DNA sequences can we make using three A's, E's, two G's, and three T's. And this is going to bring us to a formula where we have a repetition allowed of these letters. And what this formula looks at is the total number of things, or in this case bases, factorial divided by each distinct base or um, number of things, if we're not talking about DNA, factorialized. So in this case we have um, four different bases, so we'll go up to N4. And what we want to look at is on the bottom of this fraction, we have our distinct items. We have three letter A's factorialized, two letter C's factorialized, two G's, and each distinct item, or each distinct base in this case, is one of the things that I could repeat. On the top, we put the total number of bases in our strand. Well, if we add 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3, there are going to be 10 bases in this particular strand of DNA. Now, I'm going to deal with this um, one at a time, and I'll admit I um, used a calculator to do this for me. Um, 3 factorial is 6. 2 factorial is 2. So I have 6 times 2 times 2 times 6, or 144. Now you can write these out and cancel them. It's really totally personal preference. I prefer not to write the larger ones out and cancel, just because I, I tend to make errors when I write out the 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Um, instead I put it in my calculator. And 10 factorial is a big number. 3,628,000 800. Next we're going to go ahead and divide this. Before we divide I do want to show you your calculator. The Windows calculator. What you have on here is a button for the factorial. So we'll go ahead and erase what was on there and you can push in 10 factorial and it will do that for you so you do not have to put it in the calculator yourself remember your calculator must be in scientific view and you have to have that full panel over on the left so 10 factorial will give you that number and we can go ahead and divide by 144 you could also, if you wanted, put in the 3 factorial times 2 factorial times 3 factorial times 2 factorial to get your bottom number. So it's just a, a good way to check yourself. Um, so let's do that one more time because I erased the number. 10 factorial divided by 144 was 25,200 different strands of DNA. Kind of gives you an idea of why we're such complex creatures if we can have that many different um, options going on. So that's a look at how we look at permutations with non-distinct items or permutations in which repetition of items are allowed.